はい。あ、ち、違うよ。金はあるって。ほら。俺は手の中の効果をチャラつかせた。Uh, no, it's, it's not, that's not it. I, I have money. Look, um, I jangle the coins in my hand. Perfect. Onna tenshu ga tachi domaru. The store lady came to a stop. また、こうか、を、ならしたら、うすくらい、てんないに、その、おとが、大きく、ひび、いった。when, The when I shake the coin or when the when I make the noise of coins again, the sound a large sound echoes in the dim store. Perfect. And you said a sound, but it's sono sound. What does sono mean? That that sound. It echoed loud or it okiku. Onna tenshu wa unazuita. The store lady, she nodded in agreement. Ma kanega aru nara isa. Ah. If there is money, it's okay. So, step. Atsude no zubon to tsukushita de kasugiru koto ni ao satsu mo mo ke ito. No mafura to boshio hitotsu zutsu sakashite hita. Can you say socks for me again? Kutsu. Kutsu shita. Perfect. So ste and then, uh, What did he do? He he tutsu zutsu tagashi kita. He he searches, came to search, came to find. Right. This it's hard this to translate into English, found, but literally he searches and then he finds it. It's basically what the kuru is telling us. So he came to find tutsu zutsu all these items, which sounds a little bit odd in English. The idea is that he was looking for things. And then he found those things. With mitsukita, um, can be used when you find things, but、um, it doesn't have to be used. You could、um, happen upon something with mitsukita, but sagasa means you had to go looking for it, right? So they probably use sagasa here in order to show that he looked for these specific items, rather than just making it like for sure that we know that, rather than like maybe he happened upon them, right? He was wandering the store. Like the other way is、um, vague, it could be either. He, he found it. He、right. found, then he,、uh, and then he found the、uh, Hitotsu Zutsu. Hitotsu Zutsu. Hitotsu Zutsu. This is an adverb. It describes how he found them. What method do you think he used? 
Did he close his eyes and what grab I, the first thing you touched? What did he do? One after one yes. after the other. Perfect. He touched his um one after the other he found the uh, hat, the scarf that is made of wool, uh, the shirt that matches with a, a large coat, uh, I mean oversized coat, deki dekasu giru, meaning it's 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 large and it's over. Right. It's too big for Khan. Get it. It's it's oh it's beyond. Um, and socks, along with pants that are thick, thick pants. Right. And due to how um, the commas we see here in certain locations, this insinuates specifically that the pants and socks are thick and that the um, scarf and the hat are both made out of wool. Um, right. But also that you probably found it like in that kind of order, like it's one, two, three, four, five, you know, but it kind of vaguely insinuates that since there's a, should be a vague I reason, see. but that's, it doesn't matter because um, it's both are theoretically possible, just like in English, right? Like you say, I got a I... wool scarf and hat, that can mean both are made out of wool or only the scarf was. But you wouldn't really say I got a wool scarf and a wool hat. That does feel a little bit excessive, so unless you wanted to be specific, but it's the same as in English. So everything I've read up until now regarding these clothing, um, since the very beginning of the book, it shows that this place is rather cold and wet and damp. Yes. The whole time that Khan was. Well, at least in this current time period. Uh, they... um, right now, it is almost winter. Um, eventually, right. it's going to start snowing, which might not be actually on the clock winter time, but it is when magic is leaving the place, it's getting colder and colder. It's kind of the insinuation they had, I think. I see. Hi. It's like a short ice age coming. Um, ore wa kutsu mo sagashite yo. I will search for socks as well. To koe o kaketa. I mutter to myself, is that it? Perfect. Kaketa. So, kaketa does not uh, mean to mutter to oneself, but this is what this means in this context. Kakeru is the same kakeru that we saw with kakaru, like, um, kuze kakateru, which is rotting and stuff. It's the to start, to begin type of idea. A lot of times it means to start a conversation, like hanashi kakeru means to begin, to be the one that initiates a conversation. So, hana, so koyo kakeru means to be the first person to let out your voice to um to say something basically and here he doesn't have anyone he's really um talking to so contextually we know he must be talking to himself he's telling himself i gotta go find the shoes um which um it isn't like specifically written in the definition for it but that's what it's meaning it, it means to say words basically to initiate the word talking to begin. Um, and contextually, know he's talking to himself. He doesn't have anyone else to talk to. Hi. Hayaku. Ara keru. Ara? Aru. Hi, hi, hi. Aru keru. Gancho na. Kutsugai 
Number Aruke. 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 Ar Walking. Right. You can walk quickly in. Would be good. Right. E. Soreba. So soreba. So soreba. If it can do that, soreba. If it can do that. So who do you think is doing? Who's doing the sudo? Do you think the kutsu are doing sudo? If I can do that. Hi, if I do that. It could be if I can do that, but um because we have ikeru here. Um, but it just means if I do that, right? When I do that. So being the action of getting some very nice sturdy shoes you can walk fast in. So if I do that, then what's gonna happen? Never towards never. Oku rezu ni. What does this mean? Oku is to do. Right. And then um, rezu ni. So you just said oku is to do and rezu ni. Do you think rezu is a noun? Does that sound like a noun to you? Rezu? Like nezu ni? <laughs> oku is already, it ended the clause. It could be that. That's correct. In which case, rezu would have to be a noun, like yo. You remember learning the noun rezu at some point? A little bit. Rezu is a um, bit of something. Apparently, it can mean a lesbian. I've never heard of it, but that's what rezu can mean if it was a noun. Um, so you think this is saying the word lesbian? <laughs> yeah. No, it is out of context. Um, right. So that means instead, this is the verb okure that's been conjugated in the zuni form. Zuni is made by getting nai form and dropping nai. So because of that, we know it's okure ru okure ru. Um, okure ru means that. This is okureru is a passive form. Yes, of, it's a circle word. Okuru. The doer is also the affected. Wait a minute. What does this word mean? Hi. Um, what about we erase this for now and read the rest of the sentence? Nabure ni tsuite ikeru. What does that mean? I mean, I can catch up. I can keep up with him. I can sweep that. I can keep that. up with nobody without okureruing. Because that's what zuni means, without. Without okureruing means without falling behind. Falling behind. Okureru. Falling What's the behind. other? So it means falling behind in this context. Do you know what the normal context is of okureru? I would kanji. I need kanji, Bonnie. I I can't visualize this. Okureru is this kanji right over here, and oh, it means to be, to late. be late. Yep, like chikoku. Chikoku suru. Okureru. Um, chikoku feels like from like your emotion is gonna be late. I'm gonna be late. Okureru is more like um narration. On na. Tenshu ga ne dan o ita. I say, no, the store lady said the price. Nebari, no, benetto ni hayaku shiro o iwarete ita kara. Because Bennett had told me to be hurry. Ayaku shiro. Uh, 
ねぎる時間な時間はない。Uh, time for bartering. There is not.、Perfect. There is no time for bartering. Iwareta kingakyo sasato harai. Come back to it.、Uh, Boro fuk kara atsude no fuk ni kikaete kutsu himo o shime katta bakari no koto no poketo ni naifu to ジョーマエヤブリのハリガネをすっこむと急いで店を飛び出した。Perfect. And this is not a mistake、yeah. you made, but it is probably a mistake the book made. It says キカエル Which I think is happening because of the kanji going on here. But ki kaeru is not a thing, it's ki gaeru. So it should be a ga here rather than a ka. It's some kind of spelling issue. This happens in all books, but normally something small like this, you know.、Uh, so it's ki gaeru, ki ga which means to change your clothes into. Ki gae, ki gae. And it's because、so、kairu the... is the verb, right? It's the, to change. So they want ki and then kairu, and they forgot to do the mendaku.、Uh, so it, th that's a compound verb there. Yes. But they forgot the compound it. <laughs> Form the new verb. Okay, so it's iwareta kingaku. So kingaku here means the price. Of the, the amount、item. of money. The amount of money. The amount of money that I was told. Sasato harai. I, either it say I quickly pay them or I immediately pay them. What does、um, sasato so, mean? Sasato means immediately. And isoide means quickly. Immediately pay. I pay it immediately. Harai. Now and then I. Higae. Boro. Ah, higae. I, I change from that of a boro fuku into a asuide fuku. So I change from a worn out cloth into a thick cloth. Hi. はい、Now that I think of it, the reason Khan is always so hungry is probably because he's so cold and he's burning up a lot of his calories just to keep warm. You know, that would make sense. Or the fact that, you know, he lives on the street and doesn't have a lot of food. But he has been getting quite a bit of stuff to eat lately, so. Got <laughs> it.、Oh. Make up for all those, cat, those missed calories.、Um, so then, what he next he d o is he shime. So he tie the kutsuhimo, he tie the su strings. Yep, the su laces. She, she it. And the next thing that he did was su komuto. So he put Or, in other words, he insert、right. the dresses. The lock pick. The lock that picks、um, and the knife into the pocket of the thick coat. No, 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 not the thick. 
the bakari so, no koto. The coke that bakari. I, the coke that I just bought or he just bought. Which was a thick coat mentioned in the previous line. <laughs> the coat that I bought into that pocket. I insert the knife and the lockpick. Right. Lockpick wires. Or just lockpicks with an S. And then isoide, meaning immediately. Mm, that's a sato. Right. A sato. Quickly then. Right. It's like hayaku. Right. Isoide feels Is like you're in a hurry. Well, hayaku. You could use both in the same context. I was going to say, you were talking like, hayaku, hayaku, you say, isoide. <laughs> they both work for yelling at someone to hurry up. I quickly, I, um, in, immediately, I. That's a sato again. I quickly, I quickly, um, dashes out of the store. Perfect. Flies out. Nice. Hope you <laughs> Funny how Japanese use the word to fly. So fly out. I fly it out of the place. Out. It, um, tobu is a very common word that's basically always used metaphorically. So it can be used for literally flying, and of course it can be used to fly out of a room, right? To run out of a room, to rush out, kind of idea. You know, same as like how it can be like, to jump and stuff. It means to fly, but it's almost always used metaphorically. And context lets you know when it's metaphor and when it's literal. Um, so, miru kara ni isn't really because seeing, though you could kind of spin it around if you wanted to. It um, means basically it's, it's to indicate some kind of um, judgment of something that is, um, seems like should focus on miru kara ni. Um, I don't know. I remembered what it was and I forgot. Um, it just means from Kara sight. Is, is it like kara from, from like, from out of kara? This like should kara be, made, or is it, so or is grammatically, this is the because kara. Um, if you're taking this literally, it probably would mean because I looked, I was able to confer the next information. But in English, you would probably use from. From looking, I could see blink, right? Um, but it's not actually, it's the because, grammatically, it's the because um, from, but we don't really say so this with, in English. So because I look. With the particle would, name on it? Hi. Is this marking a, a an adverb yes. function? Like it described actions? Yes. Um, okay. It, yeah, turns it into a adverb. Okay. Um, ira tsuku is a u verb, the verb we'll be modifying, means to be irritated. Irritated. Ira tsuku. What is the te form of ira tsuku? Tsuku is a ku verb, so ira tsuku. Te, suite. Hi, suite. Perfect. So, let's go read the line from the book. Soto de. This is waiting. So, matte. Matte ita. Renetto wa. Miru kara ni. Ira suite. We just said that Ira suite was to be annoyed, right, Mani? Yeah. Ira suite ita. So he was annoyed. In what way was he annoyed? He miru kara ni. In, in this case, I think in English, it'd be best to put the karani from like Khan's point of view. It's, it's kind of, 
um because normally in the books with narration right you don't normally get things like this This is a very like plain forwardly stated sentence veneto ira tuiteita it's like it's stated as like a fact and there's no like yo or anything like that there's no vagueness so in a way this is kind of adding the vagueness right by saying because i looked kind of from a glance obviously we, he is so he's doing his, the amount of irritatedness that Bennett is showing on his face it, you can you can just see it i see it's khan who's noticed it yeah but like it is modifying the verb grammatically but it just it's hard to put that into english because it's saying that's I just see. saying the amount of irritatedness is to the extent that just with looking at it you can see that he is irritated, right? You can see that's describing the level of irritation, right? Like if you're slightly irritated, you might not be able to tell at a glance. But, I see. It's visible. In other words, he visibly okay. irritated. Exactly. I can see it. He, it's visible. That's a good, yeah. He visibly irritated. So, but Ned, who is waiting outside, is visibly irritated. Perfect. What is <laughs> yeah. okay. This is What's this bolded word? Kawaranai. It did not change. Perfect. It does not change. Um, do you know what? This is how to read this word. Kibun. Yeah, kibun. What does kibun like, mean? Uh, either that or it means like my health or something like that. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what you first said, but you probably said it right. It is your mood, your feelings, your feelings. Yeah, good mood or a bad mood. Kibun. Can you read this kibun. example sentence for me? Kibun ga kawaru. My mood change. Perfect. Um, it's, it's like affects. It's like affective. My my emotions. Hi. Yep, like a bad mood or a good mood. Mood tends to work good. Um, Hi. This, this might be a hard one to translate. Um, but basically, mono is here. To basically to state a like thing they want you to focus on it, it makes it more strong it's... well here's kawaru mono um it's, it's basically to add strength to the oh sentence. it's a mono da hi it's like it's 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 emphasizing it emphasizing an explanations hi it's saying kind because of. It sounds like because to me, monoda. Okay, let's try from the beginning. Uh, sore shite mo. Oh, okay. Sore ni shite mo fuku ga atarashi to kibun ga karato. Karato. Uh, kawaru mono da. Okay, so, sore, that, sore ni, shite, is, did that. Kind of. In this, it's more like more. with that. With that? Yeah. Even with say, that. Hi. Fuku ga atarashi new clothes. Clove is new. Clove is new. Um, and mood kibunga is karato 180. Oh, that's the degrees. Ka, ka, kawaru. Wakaru means you understand. There's no understanding going on here. Kawaru. Kara, kawaru. I, I am 
my mood is 180. Well, in English, we say does a 180, new- right? You could say it's it 100% kawaii, right. but I just wrote 180 there to show a more English way of doing it. Because if you say it, uh, it, it's oh. like it totally kawaii. Garata mean t- completely. Yeah, a lot. Garato mean a lot. So, to here mean with. This to is like conditional to. Uh, Strong yes. emphasis. With new clothes, okay. my mood is a completely better. A lot better. Hi, in that context, or, that is what he said. My mood completely changes to the opposite. Bennett glares at me, so he's probably a little bit like, ooh, but then I have new clothes. So my mood is something that changes totally because I have new clothes. So you could probably right. use this with because of the meeting, but this kind of thing, like, you can't let my mood be down. Mom, I got new clothes. Woo, woo, woo. We said that roughly 12 years old? Yes. Is it roughly 12 year old kid? Okay. That's so interesting. That's about his age. So he's. He's not even a teenager yet. Right. The He's rule for a lot sort of, of books uh, like... is that the character of your book should be about two years older than the target audience. And this is about a middle school book, which is around like the 10 to 11-ish and age. 10 to 12 odd. So you add the two to that. <laughs> so, that that's, the, that's the rule for Wait, um Does books. that mean that... The levels of vocabulary that we are being, uh, that that we are seeing right now is it's is a middle school level kind of yeah. Vocabulary. So when you read the actual book, you'll see what has Fidigana and what doesn't have Fidigana, and that should be based off of the official like what they're learning in school. There's like there's, if you look, there's different grade kanjis. So due to the grade level, they're like mm, a middle school student should know this kanji, might not know the other kanji. Um, but this is I like see. a beginning so, middle school, not ending middle school. So that's the even if and they having like for them literacy, mm. it's also a lengthy process. But it seems like these novels are helping children learn to read. I well, think yeah, like, even your kids that, to read right? books. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I have lots for, of semi Fudigana novels that are basically it's for that purpose. It's the the idea that the kid would be. Not having foodie gone all the kinds that they know, we can kind of gauge the estimated level by what has foodie gone, what doesn't have foodie gone. Um, right. Unless you're getting a book that is like full foodie gone, there's a couple of those, like by certain brands. Those just do it to everything. You just say, eh, I don't know what level this is for. I think the idea is that maybe you could like read it to your, like you have a young kid, like you know those early readers. Like little kids that read like voluntariously but might not know all the kanji. I think it's kind of like geared toward those kind of kids. And there's always like that Mommy. little like what ten year old, like eight year old that like reads like YA, you know, <laughs> the super readers. Wait, you, Bonnie, have have you seen a six year old? A six year old should already be able to read some books. Is that right? That would depend on the six year old, right? There is a very wide range of literacy in old places. Um, I know like when I was little, I was a really bad reader, not until I was like in middle school. <laughs> I couldn't like read books. I was like, no, don't make me do it. I had to go to like the special class for the kids that, you know, that need help with reading. Um, so there's, there's always that range of uh, students in all places. So if it's a six-year-old that's good at reading, yes. If it's a six-year-old that's bad at reading, no. Um, manga, by default, for anything high school level and below, has all furigana. And that's because the idea is that it's not going to be limited just to high school students or just, you know, you want to have it available for the really young kids to read it as well, right? Um, versus the adult ones will have no furigana. So that's how a manga goes. It's either all or none. Because they're going to the two very different age brackets, where there's a small goal in here, but they want to include everybody in that group, like shonen and shoujo and stuff. I see. So you, if you're a foreigner and you, you're roughly an A1 level, you're probably going to have to start reading material that are six-year-old level reading. 
Yeah. Which is, which is probably just basic manga. Cool. Okay. So even though we say basic, I, some manga is like hard, even if it's for adult young children, because the way you speak is not actually fully accurate to how you read. Um, like um, a lot of people will have no more words and stuff in talking, and that's why you have to learn vocabulary and stuff in school because there's the bigger words and stuff. And if you don't know a word when you're a native speaker, you can skip over and tell by context. But as someone learning a language, it's very hard to skip over words. I've like you've seen yourself do it many times. You'll see a word you don't know and you freeze, and you're like, "Oh, I can't do the sentence anymore." Even though if you delete that word, you're able to do the sentence just fine, right? We saw that just not long ago today, uh -huh. where I blocked up a word. But if you were a native speaker, you just would skip it and go on. You don't care. You know what the sentence is saying, and context is telling you that's giving you some mood words. So. Just because it's a manga for someone younger could still make it be really hard for someone learning the language or be really easy. And vice versa, sometimes Senen manga will be super duper easy to read. Like Girls Last Tour is a adult manga. It doesn't have any furigana. It is a super easy man manga to read if you know kanji. If you don't know kanji, then you die. A, um, but it has like darker themes and stuff like that, you know, because it's about the world has ended. So that's their age range you know so it's not always like a good like just because it's for someone younger that just really just tells you the furigana count is how i would say rather than the actual complexity of vocabulary or um, grammar because um grammar will be complex no matter what you read though certain areas like if you read in like in english like 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 a bit classic literature it's going to be way harder to read than anything a normal adult reads like romance novels or something, you know. So we, we got totally off topic here. I got that. <laughs> um, Hi, sorry about that. Um, uh, next word, bold. Ususa. Ah, uh, close. It is Samu. No. Hi. Samusa. Summary Some, cold. What's this word? The Greek code. Hey. Ugoki. Perfect. Mean Ugoku. Hey. Can you read this word for me? Move. Um. Ugoki mawaru. Hey, we got a compound word. What do you think this word means? We got ugoki from to move and mawaru from circle or around. This is to. Move something in a circle. Good guess. So, ugokasu is to move something. Ugokasu. Oh, if you go look over at ugoku on the previous page, which means to move, it actually says, shodana ga ugoku. The bookshelf moves. Not, I move the bookshelf, the bookshelf moves. So, this actually says to move around, as in, I move around. Or they move around, or it moves around. What's the term for my walking my water? Hi. Hi. Ugoki mawar te. Ugoki mawar te. Perfect. Sorry, I was completely on my end. Um. Okay. Um, so, this so, in the, sorry, it was so, like wrong order. Do you know what a kosodoro is? Kosodoro no furoji. Kosodoro no furoji. Koso, it's, it's, it's a slang word, isn't it? it it's derogatory, be. right? Maybe. That thief kind of feeling. It means sneaky. Sneaky thief. Thank you. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. So, koso koso is a sound effect that was used to make koso doro. What do you think koso koso means? It's sneaking around. Yeah, it's some kind of sneaky action, no. sneaky sound effect. Koso koso koso. Let's go read the example sentence. Hi. Um, koso koso to ugoki mawar de iru. 
こそ、ドローは、こんだ。Um, the sneaky thief that's moving around sneakily is con. Perfect. Um, what's this folded word? Folded word. Uh, good I got it. Hi, good I got it. Got it. Hi. So, um, kura, the E has been dropped. I don't know why. Ooh, there. Kura. Then we got ga. Ni. Kura. Ga ni. Um, what's a nai form of coal? Nai. Suma. Suma. Suma nai. Sumana. This is a adjective. So you might want to turn it into an adverb and then use another verb to describe it. A helping verb. The knife form. So this regularly is samui. Right. It's not cold, so it's samukunai. Hi, samukunai. Perfect. Adverb plus helping verb nai. It means not or adjective. Do you know what bakari means in this context? It's different than the bakari we saw earlier today. Bakari. Stira koto bakari. Koto bakari. Datta ga. I know that already. Basically, I... that's the shiteru koto. Those things are known by me. What's a bakari doing though? So bakari dataga. I forgot money. Hi. So bakari means all and only. So all of it was things I know. There is nothing in there I did not know. All of it was things I know. Bakari. That's all it is. All the things were things that I know. Uh, it's like shikanai. Shike. Yeah, it's like shikanai. Um, or okay. dake is what it's more similar to, right? <laughs> only dake. That's the only things. Okay, the only things that I've known. Right. Oh, let's go read the line from the book. Samukunai te dake janai. Um, here say dake. So, on dake de wa nai. This, there's nothing. There was. This, tamuku. What does de wa nai mean? De wa nai mean it does not exist. Hi. That. So it, right? There's no subject here, so we'll use it for now. It is not dake. It, so dake nai, dake nai. There's nothing but. Wait, wait, wait. This is not dake. What does dake mean? Dake is only. Hi, this is not only. Samakunai. This is not only not cold. Exactly. It is not only not cold. That's exactly what it says here. So not only am I not cold, but blah, 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 blah. There's no but here, but it's insinuated in the context. There's an insinuated but, right? Or an and, I guess, actually. So, so you, in this specific context, it's and. So not only am I not cold, but in a positive, right? I'm also not blah, 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 blah. We're talking about positive things about okay, his new so clothes, why he's in such a good mood. That's our context. Samukunaite dake janai. Furoji no kako datta toki wa kibun mo furoji de. 
ぐらくくはいくらがりをこそこそと動き回ってばっかりいた。There was only Ugoki Mawate going around. In what kind of way? Sneakily. Hi, hi, hi. Where? Kuragari. Inside the darkness. Hi. And what else? Of、uh, with the urgent feeling as well. Hi, Puro. Oh, with the feel. With the feeling of a street kid. Yeah. I also felt like a street kid, and all I could do is wander around sneakily in the dark because I'm a street kid. Uh, when did he feel that? Tokiwa. At the time, the time when、uh, Furoji no Kako da. The time when I was Kako da. Which was. Full is a first year full kind of a symbol of your outfit, like the, the vibe you give out to other people. It's like your hair, your makeup, all the ways you present yourself is full. Not only was it not cold, but I could move.、Uh, oh, wait, wait. We start with Toki, right? Toki wa. When? The t- when I w- had the look of a street kid. Hi. I. He do more street kid. I had the feeling of a street kid. Yeah, I also felt like a street kid. And I can do nothing. There's only, there's nothing but moving around sneakily in the in the dark. Perfect. So that's why he's yeah, so, so happy to have his new outfit. Not only is it warm, right? He's not cold no more. But before, before he had this cool ass new coat, he felt not happy with himself and he had to go sneak around more, right? He felt like he had to sneak into the shadows.、Uh, any、Hi. questions on this side? Can we go to the next one? <laughs> no. Awesome. It、Work、is a hard. It. <laughs> you, you basically you did it. How to do it step by step, but it made sense. Biku tsuku, biku tsuku is the same as bikuri, which means to be scared. Biku tsuku to attach. Frightenness. But、um, I guess the reason a lot of these sentences are so twisted is because the Japanese way of constructing sentences. Like instead of saying warm, they had to put the negative of cold to insinuate that is. <laughs> not yeah, only was it not cold, <laughs> there's a lot of double negatives in Japanese constructions that it just causes confusion when, when translating. はい、あ、uh,、びくつく。はい、scared。なんだこれ。scared。そう、ぶ、びくつ。くすくない。はい、つく、つかない。つかない。はい。What do you think this word means? あらき。まわる。Walking、Can you try、around. again for walking? You keep on getting walking this messed up. 
歩,歩く。はい、歩く。And then you're exactly right, walking around. Perfect. So,、um, let's go read this line from the book. はい、そう。でも、ちゃんとした服を着たら、目の高い時の時間、時間に歩き回っても、びっくつんかない。しかも、今の俺は魔術師の弟子だ。はい。So, でも、a lot of times is translated as but. Literally, though, it's just de from da and mo from even. So, here it's actually not but. It's saying and. でも。De from da and more from even. even.、Right. But normally, but is the way to translate it. But this context, and is、Hi. the way to do it. It's continuing from the previous. So, so on top of that, even that, like that and more. Hi. That, having that, more, more than that.、Um, Chanto, it's proper. Shita, fuku. Ah, with a, with a good outfit.、Um, kitara, if I wear a good outfit, he no takai, j i k a n ni. When the sun is out, when the sun is high up, When the day is high, so in other words, when the sun is out, right, Mon? Yeah, when the day is high in the afternoon, like 12 p.m., right? That's when the sun, like basically when the sun's directly overhead.、Uh, But I don't think the main character knows the word afternoon, right? He's a footology. <laughs> Hi, so, so when the sun when the sun is out, at that time, ara, aruki, aruki, mawate, walking around, um, It's i not scary. Right. Even if I'm walking walk around with... in broad daylight, it's not scary if I'm wearing the proper clothes. If I'm wearing the proper clothes. Hi. Clothing makes the man. That's right. So, so. Shikamo.、Uh, <laughs> shika, shika. Shika. And then more. Wait a minute. No, that is probably where、uh, it comes from. It means on top of that, a lot like this demo in this context. Yeah, not only <laughs> that, she got, oh, not only that, uh, ima no ore wa, I am now, the I of now, <laughs> ima no, ima no ore wa, uh, the I of now, I, <laughs> I'm an apprentice, I'm a magician apprentice, m a j i t s u s h i no desh. Khan is so excited、oh、my, about that. Khan's having a great day. He, he is constructing a whole narrative in his mind. So, so. <laughs>、uh, do you know what this bolded word is? O i kakete. Right, Bonnie? Yep, o i kakete. What、right? does that mean? <laughs> It is right. O. A k a k e I'm in the process of it. Yeah. I just、But、caught up. And, and, yep, I just caught up. Exactly. Perfect. Just, like, I'm almost there. Just、uh, caught well, up. Actually, I was there. Right about there. Perfect.、Um, amaru <laughs> um, is a u verb. It is theoretically the same as amari, which means、uh, like, <laughs> not a lot. But amaru means to remain, as in to have leftovers, like nokori. Um, it's normally used to refer to having like leeway. Like, nokori is more like, whoops, that was left behind, or like a purposeful left behindness, while madu is more like, oh, I have a extra whatever, I can do whatever I want with this. So, amari is, from amadu, is like positive. 
so I've got extra leeway, right? I have extra sure. coin so Mark. I can buy some more stuff or something. Hi, surplus. Hi, surplus. That is a great way of putting it. Um, what's the tech form of oh, Amadi? Sir. Amadi. Tech form of an Goldan. Uh, Glado stop. Amate. Let's go read this example sentence. Wata sareta. Koka ga Koka. Koka ends with ka, that, but koka looks like this. Very similar. Doka is made out of copper because do means copper. I don't know what ko means. Do. <laughs> do. Do. Doka ga ichimai amata. From amari. Okay, so amari. So I have extra. I have. Uh, one extra coin. Yep, perfect. Uh, in case you're wondering, yes, I had. Uh, the 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 coal from Koka means hard from Katai. So it's a hard coin. Um, <laughs> Katai has both kanji. Okay. I felt like I seen the word during a Pikachu attack, money. Oh. Like I think I saw hard tail, like. Iron tail or something like that. That sounds Strike right to a... harden your tail. That, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Strike him with, Strike him with your hi. iron tail. Hi, hi, hi. How do we say the uh, the plaza of the night market? Oh, uh, Yama Ichi Oroba. Oh, ah, Hiroba. Aroba. Hi. Hiroba. You're really close though. Yeah. Yami ichi hiro ba. Yami ichi hiro ba nara. Tazogare ga. You don't need the whole sentence. <laughs> Our next word is a yatai. In today's world, the you don't really need to know this because they use this colloquially. You know, it's like band aid used to be a brand. Now it's referred to all uh, band aids. I don't know what the actual word is. Adhesive bandages. Um, so this word right here, can you read it for me? Yeah, die. Yeah, yeah, die. Used to refer to these carts that you would have like a little wheel on one end, and your whole like assemble there that you would like pull with you when you'd go to like market stalls and stuff to sell your stuff. So you could kind of take it with you when right. you were done. Um, there's still these, you know, exist today at like Disneyland and stuff, um, but not really out in like real markets that very much but that's what the official meaning of the word is but today it is used interchangeably with normal booths um but in this book i'm only specifying this because they actually do use both words in here for both the kind that have the wheels and the kind for the for booths but in modern day japanese both are used interchangeably um so just letting you know hi yata. ends with yatai hi 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 um, That's cool. I think those uh, uh, in the ramens, a lot of these old timers. So, so, so. Exactly. The ramen cart. They set it up and it turns into a booth. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Um, let's go read this example sentence. Yama ichi hiri, hiroba. Hiroba. Yama ichi hiroba no ya. Um, keep. Yasui. Yasui. Uh, Hinamono. Hinmono. No, no Shinamono. Perfect. Can you say darkness for me again? Yami. Perfect. Yami. Yami ichi. Yami ichi hiroba no. Yatai ni wa. Yasui, shinamono ga aru. There's cheap. There is cheap merchandise at the um booth of the night market. Perfect plaza. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what hasamu meant from hasande? Uh, jizu o hasamu. Uh, to wedge. 
Perfect. I wedge the cheese. So, yoru tachi... means to get Hai. close to something. So, tachi yoru, what do you think that means? To stand close. Yeah. Um, what did sashidasa mean? That was a newish word not that long ago we learned. Probably last time we met, maybe. The time before that. Take out suru and then dasu. Hi. To do out, to do something, to take out something. Or it does sashida. have to do with taking out, that's correct. But it's more specific than that. What does it mean? Oh my. Uh, doka wo ori ni sashidashita. The takeout part was hazureru. Hazushita. <laughs> he disconnected several coins from the wallet he oh. took out. He showed to me. He, he presented Hai, to me. To Sashi... present. Exactly. Sashidasu. To present. So it doesn't necessarily mean it was taken from someone, but you did have to take it out in order to present it. Um, what's the stem form of this word? Tachiyoru. Tachiyori. Perfect. Um, here is our last line of the day. It is long, but as long as you don't panic, it is not bad grammarly. It's a lot of just ands. No, nothing like complex. Hi. Veneto kara watasareta doka ga ichimai amatta no de yami ichi hiroba de Yatai ni tachi yori sausage o hasanda tanda muffin o kate nusunda 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 njanaku janto katta undazo veneto o ashi ashita no you're ashite. right ashite. Ashite. it sounds weird because ashite. you're saying the e and the e is normally dropped in native japanese just because e's dropped a lot it's in con so nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. So here he, he, he say no day because um I have a mata. I I I have extra money. I have one extra coin. Ichi my because I have one extra coin that I received from Bennett. Bennett um, kara watasareta. I approach. I I stand close to the tachi yori. I tend. I stand close to the tai yatai, the booth at the plaza of the night market. Yami ichi hiroba. Um, then I bu I bought uh katte uh a muffin a muffin or katte I bought a muffin that was hasanda which means that the muffin was um sausage it was wedged with a sausage hi there's a sausage um, sausage inside of the muffin or in between it hi stuffing. I bought a a sausage a muffin with sausage stuff stuff it stuff stuffing right. um uh without stealing it no sunda injanai injanaku without stealing I um I bought kata ndazo I I actually bought it chando exactly. like a normal person yeah uh, so these ns like, right like here. It. Are like, that nose that we talked about before that is used with like that um 
taking the whole sentence no and that. using it to describe it. So this way here, he's like saying, I did not steal it. I actually totally bought it, you know. Like he's he's pretty excited about this, right? Because he's like a thief. He's never probably bought food before. And as soon as he had money, the first thing he does is spend it to buy food. That's a good boy. Hi. What a poor kid. Oh, wait there, cockpit. I caught up. I asked it. I ran and I caught up to Bennett. Um, and I present. I suss it that. Satsashi dasta. Taburu, you want some? Is that so nice money? of him? He's like a kid that lives in the streets, has no money. First thing he does when he has extra money is buy some food and offer it up to the bodyguard that he does. That's really scary. It's always glaring at him. Such a good 